Last, uh, last episode we just went through uh, through old Yarnum. So we're just going to continue continue from there. We uh, killed the Bloodstarved Beast and now we've opened up a another area. Um, if we go back to the Cathedral Ward. <coughs> okay, so now we've... Uh, since we killed the Bloodstarved Beast, actually let's check on this guy. Ah, oh, the hunter. Alive and well, are ya? This here is a safe place. Stay as long as you like. But next time you're out on a hunt, remember what I asked. If you find any sane survivors, tell them because there's nothing to fear here. <laughs> Apart from the creepy Melton man. Um, well, the old lady. You stay away from me. I know all you. Okay, it's just still a bit aggressive, uh, but yeah, we've uh, we've unlocked this. This door's now open. Um, for killing the blood-starved beast. Actually, I just wonder as well. Has it changed anything in here, or just outside here, rather? Now the, uh, the Snatchers have appeared, those guys there. So I'm not, I'm not going to be dealing with those just yet. Going to try and avoid that and hopefully get through this bit without dying. Um, let's go through this bit, yeah, so midway uh, there's a kind of entrance you can uh, roll through. is down here a chest that's so what formless odin and a messenger urn festival uh, so what does this one do this is a uh, this is our first carol rune uh, max crook silver bullets held up plus four Ah, the secret symbol left by Carol, Runesmith of Bergenworth. The Great One Odin, lacking form, exists only in voice, and is symbolized by this rune. Those, whose mem uh, m those who memorize it enjoy a large supply of quicksilver bullets. Human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade, and the essence of the formless Great One, Odin. Both Odin and his uh, inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek their precious blood. Just gonna take some damage from that. Is there an actual bottom to that? I'm not gonna try it. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna rush straight out into this this bit. Scott machine gun guy, machine gun Kelly down there. And these guys like always drop quick silver bullets. Probably gonna get quite a few of those in this area. Communion. So we got another one as well. Uh, and this one's high blood fire maximum. A uh, secret symbol left by Carol, Runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes related to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood files one may carry. The rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. Oh man, I thought I was safe. I was not. I just can't remember, there's a... Uh, there's a beast there, I'll get that in a bit. Let's 
to lure this guy out. So those guys with their backs turned to us. There's a guy with a gun and there's this guy. Oh, he got me. But if we uh, kill this guy quickly. Just take these out one at a time. A uh, blood tinge gemstone. Oh, yeah, I love uh, like I love the atmosphere in this as well. Like uh, and the guys, the animites just hanging around. You can hear the whispers. Go for the game. Can you get me? Sucker. Got some ladders over here. Just check in. Anything around here? I think it's on the next level. That's a note. Uh, the sky and the cosmos are one. The choir. through there in a bit. Some uh, thick cold blood. I've got a series of uh, gun people. Oh, yeah, we've got some sprayers as well. It's got a flame sprayer. This guy's gonna wheel down. <laughs> Sword Hunter badge. So this is gonna grant us some new uh, some new weapons. Um, and I think that's that's it. There's a door here, which we can't progress through uh, until much later into the game. All these are uh, pots to smash. Um, okay, let's go down. Just like be really careful on this ladder. I've done this a few times where I've just kind of quickly gone down here and uh, found myself like dodging off the edge. Having that circle button pressed in. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to run around this way again just to take care of that beast. The shard beast. What is it called? I don't know. Maybe someone can point that out in the chat to me. Uh, and then we've got this bit. So there is um, a thing down here. There's a few ways to get down here, but you can just see it right there below. There's a doorway on a platform. Um, I'll try and get there at some point. I'm just going to grab these items first. Uh, just getting to these are fairly easy. You just got to angle your camera so you can uh, move, kind of drop down all right. Um, so you can see the door a bit more clearly from there. There's uh, like two ways you can go from there. One's uh, kind of at the top, follow that rope down, uh, dropping onto that ledge and then down there. Uh, and the other one is like a running jump from over there. But I'll go back and uh, try that a bit later. First, I need to line up and get this one. And then uh, try and land on that platform down there. Like, my set, my brightness settings look to be pretty high because I can see down there. But yeah, we made that one. And there's gonna be a beast over here. Hopefully fire will work. Let's have a look. Oh. Wow, this guy hurts. Definitely works for damage on him. This guy's got fireballs. We got beast. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, beast rune, boost effect of temporary transformation. Uh, a secret symbol left by the Carol rune smith of Bergenworth. Transcription of the raw of a labyrinth beast, and the bearer of the beast rune has <laughs> accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed f uh, forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. And there's nothing else in that room. Just this door. And there's some more lanterns. People have clearly gone mad. Um, I head down there a little bit. Gotta be careful around here. Now, uh, I'm just gonna pull this dog. Uh, if we go around this corner, there's going to be a, a snatcher up there. Uh, and I'm going to try and take this guy out. Just got to be careful of the patrols on the street. So let's, uh... Just mess that up completely. But it's all good. Um... 
it. I think we're okay for now. So we could. I was walking out. Or we could go around and get a backstab on that guy. Make him a bit easier. Madman's knowledge. But yeah, there's a bit of a strategy to these guys. Like, um, like right now they're pretty slow. They'll do like one or two attacks. Uh, and then when they get to half health, they'll do this power up. And that's when they really hurt. I need to get away from this guy. Whoa. And we're down. wasn't meant to go down like that. up in Yargul and seen village so I mean like some people have played through this game and not even uh, uh, been to this place but snatchers if you uh, if you get killed by those you will wake up here for the first uh, for the first phase of the game I, I wasn't planning on coming here just yet. Uh, Madmen toil seren <laughs> surreptitiously in rituals to beckon the moon and cover their secrets. Uh, I guess I can do this bit now. Carrying down there. Um, if we change our gear to, do I even have anything on? Uh, I don't even have it yet. But we require some different gear. Um, I think if you, I'm not sure if it's any of the gear, but the black uh, church garb, uh, Gascoigne's, Gascoigne's clothes. Um, and close to the white church as well. I think all of those activate her. I could be wrong with the uh, the white church stuff. Uh, so yeah, we just found ourselves in a dungeon. Um, <sighs> all right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this place just yet, just because it is a bit OP right now. And to get back, we gotta take on some of these snatchers. And these guys hurt quite a bit. I don't want to take on two at once. Let's just try and lure one of these guys out. Probably try to use my pistol a bit more. They are pretty slow. But so am I right now. That kick took out a lot of air, a lot of my health. But yeah, once we do that, he should charge up. So if we get behind him, nope. We just get behind him anyway. He's gonna charge up now. Let's see if we can do it on this guy. Yeah, 
Once they start doing that, try and get behind them and get that visceral attack on. That's what I was trying to do and what I wanted to do. Uh, so we've got the moon, uh, cow ruin, and bloodstone shard. Uh, so this one we've got moon. Acquire more blood echoes. This is the one that I like to put on for obvious reasons. Uh, a transcription of moon as spoken by the great ones inhabiting the nightmare. So because I'm here, I might as well kind of explore this area a bit. If I head up here, this door is locked for now. And so is this side. There's a note on the floor. Nightmarish rituals crave a newborn, find one and silence his harrowing cry. Um, actually, I'll take that back. I'm not going to explore this place just yet. I'm going to just teleport out of here. I'll come back and do this later. When I was planning on doing it. Again, send that elevator back down just in case the worst happens. Take our machine gun, Kelly. And I'm back over to the bridge. I mean, like, all these guys aren't really necessary uh, right now. We can just uh, head on down to where we need to be. Um, so I'm going to try and get into the. Uh, into that other area. So I think, can we just drop down here? Oh yeah. Let's uh, heal up and then drop down again. And then we're gonna get to this place. So this is kind of, it's, it's hidden, it's a bit out of the way. Let's open these doors up. Let's see what we find. How we get in sight for that abandoned old workshop. I'm not sure if there's any items around here. I can hear something though. You will recognize this place. So we've got the doll clothes. The old hunter bone. And there are a, f are a few things in here as well, so check around here. Uh, so we've got an item on here, small hair ornament. Uh, this bit leads to nothing. And on here we have a third umbilical cord. Abandoned doll. Oh, okay, so a few interesting items here. 
a small hair ornament. Uh, a small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its colour would stand out more brilliantly against a head of a greyish hair. Um, we got the Radiant Sword Hunter badge from the top of that uh, tower before we dropped down. So one of the badges crafted by the Healing Church, the Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, um, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honour and chivalry. Um, what else do we get from here? Oh, the uh, the old hunter bone. And the umbilical cord. Uh, the bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters carried off the carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream would tease an old heart from his remains. And then we got the third umbilical cord. A great relic also known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one ha has this <laughs> precursor to the umbilical cord. Don't know what that was hard for me to say. Every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord precipitates the encounter with the pale moon, which beckons the hunters and conceives the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight and, so they say, eyes in the inside, on the inside, although no one remembers what that truly entails. Okay, third umbilical cord. So this is one of the key items in the game to, uh, for, uh, for, another, en for another ending which uh, I'll begin in this playthrough. The, it's the third umbilical cord, but there are actually four in the game. Um, so that is kind actually, let's see if we can just drop down into that alleyway from here. I can hear. something. Maybe it's coming from another layer. Oh, man. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we can uh, drop down and survive. Oh, and we can. <clears throat> so we just move straight onto this. Okay, and the beast down there is gone. Doesn't look like he comes back, so... We can just uh, drop down here. No worries. And then we're back to the alleyway. Was it these? <laughs> Probably not. Let's put the snatcher along. Pretty sure if we move back, he kind of resets his aggro. Okay, so I'm gonna. Oh man, it's coming. It's coming. Let's clear this back right, see if we can reset him. Oh, he's not reset. Okay. Let's get full health. Is going on. Am I 
Might as well lure him out. Get a pistol shot in. Although, if he's against the wall, it might be hard to get a... Uh, this is going to be a little bit harder. Okay, so we can still stagger him in this state. Wow. Oh fuck. <laughs> this guy's just not going down. Can we throw some mollies? A little bit of damage. I'm just gonna do it from range. But when this guy is enraged, he is way too dangerous to deal with. Don't want to risk that. But yeah, we could. Like, we could have just kept trying to fire the pistol at him, try and get a uh, parry, get a visceral from that. Um, that's why it's a nice idea to try and get the, uh, get the pack, a back attack when it's kind of power, powering up. Um, yeah, let's go do this other bit first. So, if we go down this bit here, there is a, a different kind of enemy. Hopefully we can be quiet. Nope. Let me dodge my molotovs. I don't want to avoid that attack because that stuns us. But yeah, I mean, like, I guess this guy isn't too too hard. But the the white orb that he fires out kind of it, it freezes you, it holds you in place, and then he comes up and uh, jumps on you and kind of sucks some insight from you or doing a lot of damage. We've got a fire blooded gemstone, which would be nice. Um, but that was it from here. I think that's another uh, decent weapon upgrade. Have to see. Um, okay, and that's like you could just go around the back and avoid all those completely. Um, and then we get to this. So this is, if you haven't brought the, uh, the handkerchief uh, at the well in the Hunter's Dream, for 10,000 blood echoes, then you can come this way and unlock all the, all the doors through here. So this one just unlocks uh, the top of the stairs out of the Cathedral Ward. Six number mist from this dead guy here. Uh, number mist is a is a nice item, uh, especially for some of the NPCs that heal themselves. If you uh, if you throw that at them, it stops them from uh, from healing for a short time. I can't remember if there was anything up here, like messenger hat. I think that might be it.
Looks like that is. I guess this is a way to get back down there if you didn't want to open that uh, that shortcut there. 